there were a number of things that happened early in the process. I recognized, looking at Nepean Point, that you had to enter the building close to the street. This is the coldest capital in the world. Winter is unbearable. You just got to get in fast. On the other hand, the place with the most wonderful view is at the opposite side. Uh, that's where you see Parliament, that's where you see the river, that's where you see the Museum of Civilization. And they're about 100 meters apart, 300 feet. Uh, we also built some uh, scaffolding and tried to figure out at what height do you see the river and Parliament together. And that turned out to be one full story above the street level here. So, well, what do we do with this? Well, maybe we can connect them with a ramp. And that's where the basic concept, entering on Sussex, rising by ramp to the Great Hall as the processional route was born. So early in the process, there was a big uh, controversy and disagreement. Many of the curators felt you can't bring someone into a museum and have to wait so long until you get to the Great Hall to see art. You should immediately be within galleries. Others felt that what came to be known as the extrovert scheme is more inviting and open, and all the public spaces become visible to the city. And this impasse was eventually resolved by the Prime Minister, who in a cabinet committee, seeing the impasse, cast the vote for the extrovert scheme, which really was the precursor of the very open, inviting buildings that I did after the National Gallery, Vancouver Public Library, and many other museums in years later to come.